Uh, quite a nice question combining the ideas of the resultant force and the frictional force. Take a look and then we'll get moving with the answer. So we've got a mass here of 2 kilograms and it's being pulled by a force of two, 12 newtons, I should say, and being accelerated at 2 meters per second squared. Now you'll notice here that you might be immediately wanting to sort of check a few things and notice that we've got 2 meters per second squared and 2 kilograms, multiply them together we get four, therefore we've got a little bit of interesting work to do with um, lining up our forces and thinking about the resultant force, and that's the key to this question. Let's have a look. So if we're doing friction on a horizontal surface, as usual, we can say that the friction force is mu times r, and in this case, for the horizontal case, r is equal to mg, and therefore the friction force is mu times m times g, and that mu is what we want to find out. Now if we do a little bit of a force investigation, we've got 12 newtons to the right, Okay, and we know that F is equal to MA. Well, it must be the case that MA is the resultant force. In other words, that 12 newtons is going to be reduced by the friction force, mu mg, and the difference between those two numbers is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. Now, we know the mass, we know the acceleration, we know the mass, we know gravity, 10 in this case, because it's a multiple choice paper, so we can simply rearrange. We can have mu mg is equal to 12 minus ma, and then substitute the numbers in, we've got mu is equal to 12 minus ma divided by mg, so 12, take away 4, divided by 2 times 10, which is 20, which is going to give us 0 0.4, that's why our answer here is b.